Hi friends, today I have come up with few tips from my experience which could help a first year MD DNB pathology resident. Videos on this subject will be put up on Friday every week. The journey from first to second year is not easy, but it is the best part of the residency or postgraduate training as you are free from all responsibilities. So how do I go about this course? At first, manage your mind. By this I mean that most of us do not actually know what pathologists do. It looks simple when you are not a part of the branch. As soon as you get in, you are in a state of shock. You will feel overwhelmed. Suddenly you are introduced to new books, thesis, clerical work, answering phone calls to talk to physicians, patients, other residents, seniors, etc. So you are exhausted at the end of the day. So what will you do? Accept it. It's a part of the training and it will be helpful in the long run. It's humanly impossible to do everything and keep everyone happy. So manage your time, prioritize your work and deal with deadlines. Always carry a small notepad in your apron pocket. You may ask why? You need to note down rare and classical cases, write the hospital number and diagnosis. You need to make a note of all things you need to do. So what's your approach to a slide? See a case, read its microscopic points, ask seniors to show findings, see the case again, see it again after it is reported. Do this for two, three cases daily. You will remember it forever. Always correlate. Ask your fellow residents, technicians or clerks if these cases have come to their section. Then correlate all the findings. So what will you read daily? In the starting six months, in addition to thesis related stuff, read techniques. Cytology, hematology, histopathology and clinical pathology. Read 5 pages of Robbins daily. You can see my previous video on how to study pathology to know the techniques of reading. The link has been given in the description box. Do like and share. Comment and subscribe if you want more of these videos. Next, concentrate while reporting. Keep your ears and eyes open for rare and classical cases. Last but not the least, remember to teach what you learn. Teaching helps you to retain what you see. Focus on correlating everything. It will help you become a good pathologist. That's all for now. Keep watching Pathology Riddles. Bye.